Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land, please the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, plus 21 wins in a row, three straight weeks of non-stop dubs. Glass Cannon and Polyphemus. Okay, okay, so we're getting weird today. T4PA6HDJ. The thing about Polyphemus, it's like, it, there's probably fringe situations where it's not good. Um, but for the most part, it's so unbelievably good that the rest of our stats don't matter. So, like, I have no idea how, uh... Alright. I have no idea, um, how, uh, our rate of fire stat and our damage stat should be parsed here. Considering that we also have Polyphemus making things a little... Yeah! I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. It was a bad dodge. Should have taken my chances with the spider. Varus. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got ideas here. Because everything is fine. For the time being. But it could get a little spicy. I mean, this is a situation. I'll level with you. This is... You want to talk about doing the little things right? This is a bit of a spicy play as well. And it did not work. But, um... I, I almost think, and I'm definitely fully doing, um, this protocol where I'm not going to actually pick up the question mark yet. Why would I not pick up the question mark yet? Our HP is low enough that if something went terribly wrong, like if we got Isaac's heart, I would actually be concerned about survival even though the run is starting out quite fantastically. So I'm trying to get... Trying to keep... No, I'm trying to get um, enough money to go to the shop, buy a spirit heart. If we can buy a spirit heart, all of our problems don't fade away, but they get a little better. And you know what? Actually, now we can buy a spirit heart. So we can at least pick this up and then see if we need to buy a spirit heart. And I would still probably suggest the answer is it wouldn't be the worst idea. <laughs> But maybe we'll see what the rest of the floor entails. I was just, you're not going to believe me maybe, but I was just about to say if we can actually just get a, uh, a tinted rock. It does simplify things a little bit. And to be honest with you, I would probably look to play that, uh, that judgment. Because if we could get a full red heart, everything is like, like the run is very good. The only reason, I mean there's two reasons I got a little bit of anxiety about it. One is, um, it's the first Isaac episode I've recorded in like three days. So, I, I, you know, you, this is a, a kind of a vulnerable moment, I suppose. And then the other one is uh, we didn't know where we were going to be when we picked up that item. Now that we've picked up, everything statistically looks great for us now that we know that the question mark is not uh, disastrous. And we can even play this, which would be nice to get to an arcade for the next floor as well. But even like beyond that, IV bag is better than glass cannon for us. And um, let's see what we got here as well. One full heart. I mean, blood bag would be amazing. Our speed is like very slightly low. It's a bit of a spooky choice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna send it because we have the extra spirit heart. Okay, fair enough. I'm not upset about that. We should be okay moving on to the next floor here. How am I doing? I'm, I'm doing well. It's uh, Wednesday morning. I really think, like, I, I mean, maybe when I say really think, I should clarify. I don't mean that I actually genuinely think this. <laughs> I'm just putting a little verbal sauce on it for emphasis. But I, I do think, to some extent, my body is, like, transitioning into dad mode I have found myself getting and not in an alarming way I'm not like you know chronically exhausted but like you know even a year ago a couple years ago might be like ah you know I'd like to go to bed by like 1 a.m. which is you know late I'll admit but kind of early by youtuber standards most youtubers do their best work between the hours of 2 and 6 a.m. Um, Hold on, I do like the speed upgrade. I mean, I, I hate to tell you this. I, I really genuinely do. I hate to say it, but we're taking Mom's Knife. Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, when we're, when we're going for Mega Streaks. Now, should we take the Razor as well? There's really no reason not to. 
It's slightly catastrophically potentially better. Can something be catastrophically better? I don't know. Whoa, okay, hold on. We like this is we need to get uh and we should go here first, I think, yeah. We need to get uh some survivability as soon as possible. I would probably just blow this up. And I would say that following this moment, we will probably look to blank card. Um, but we, we got to go to a couple more rooms first, I think. Blank card is, a, is an easy save. Actually, if we get bombs, we're okay there. Just got to be a little careful here. Just the Robo Baby's doing good work. Anyway, it's a long-winded story um, to just explain that my brain's been telling me to go to bed earlier lately. It's been kind of nice, you know, used to... It, it, instead of feeling like, um... Like, oh, I, I have to stay up until my bedtime. Like, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this. And by, I don't know, I mean, I'm sure that people can. Bomb? No, second key. Hold on. Hold on. There's good work to be done here. I don't know about that, but, that you know, it's the thought that counts. Um... I used to, I, I had a weird relationship with my bedtime ever since I was maybe like a, a, a teenager or an adolescent. You know, instead of thinking it like, help. The bedtime is like the maximum. You think of the bedtime as like a minimum, if that makes sense. You know, even if you're not doing anything else, you're bored, maybe even a little bit exhausted. Your brain goes, ah, oh, but I don't want to go to bed yet. Because I don't go to bed until midnight and it's only 10.45 even though I'm tired. Hold on. I think we do buy the bomb. It's a bit strange, but just, just work with me here. Did we have a full uh, tinted rock that we could blow up? I think we did. And then we could put Wheel of Fortune down next to it as well. Yeah, we did. That was a very shrewd play. Now I'm like I'm full on like I've I'm I'm so pro my own sleep health. I've finally come to terms with the fact that uh, again I'm trying to get some conversational momentum, but we got lots of strategic stuff to worry about. <laughs> that I like last night it was like 11:45, and I was like you know what I'm tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. And I gotta tell you, I would have still rather have this, I think. I gotta tell you, it was sick. It was it was sick. I woke up early. Earlier than usual, at least. And here I am recording a little bit earlier than usual. Which again, this is all in the service of finding that extra 45 minutes to 90 minutes every single day where I can keep making progress on Doki Doki Literature Club. Because <laughs> the people are ravenous for Doki Doki Literature Club. With all due, re and it's not uh, meant to be disrespectful at all, but I'm glad that we're doing Doki Doki. I'm having a, a genuinely a very good time with what I consider to be a very good game. However, I'm, I will probably rethink some of those later subscriber milestones uh, as a result of the way that we're doing this one. I really thought it was something where, and I mean, like in a literal sense. Oh, hey, hey, hey. In a literal sense, I could have just sacked my day off um, and then recorded all of Doki Doki on that day and been done with it. I'm not trying to use my uh, seven and a half months pregnant wife as a shield on that one, but you know, it, uh, we're, we probably won't take that. It's like, it didn't really seem fair to either of us considering, you know, we got a situation with the young one on the way. We got, you know, preparatory stuff that has to be done. All I'm saying is, is you might be getting, and probably by the time this episode goes live, we've at least had the first couple of Doki Doki episodes come out. All I'm saying is, I gotta be the only YouTuber on planet Earth who publishes like four to six homemade videos, like not Twitch VODs per day, plus like maybe another one to three Twitch VODs. And still people are like, where's this? You're dragging your heels. I'm like, dude, I'm not dragging my heels. I'm dragging, you know, 20 heels behind me anyway. But uh, I, I think like, you know, I thought it would be uh, a little bit... I still think we're better off with Wheel of Fortune, dude. 
I, I thought it would be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more frictionless. Um, and really, part of the reason there's some friction is just because of the actual nature of the game itself. But uh, I think that probably, you know, especially with the child on the way in like a couple of, well, not even a couple of months, like six weeks here. Probably would be wise to maybe set <laughs> shorter subscriber goals. I'm not talking about like, you know, taking Planet Zoo off the list. Because I think Planet Zoo is actually a very easy thing to batch record. But I don't know. I gotta rethink it. Let's put it that way. I don't mind 850 record a tier list of every single uh, episode in Isaac. 850,000 YouTube, sub YouTube subscribers. Because that's just kind of like a one and done. It'll be a very long day. That's That's undeniable. But... Really, like, it's it's just, it's tough to find the time. That's where I'm at right now. So I, I'm asking for your sympathy and your understanding. I'm also asking you to follow me on Twitter if you have questions about this kind of stuff. Because, like, I tweeted, you know, like, hey, here's what's happening with Doki Doki. It's still being, it's still being recorded, but it might take, uh, you know, it might not be out until a little bit later this week. And I'm still getting, like, you know, I would say probably... 20 YouTube comments a day, a few tweets, and Twitch chat just constantly being inundated with where's Doki Doki. And I'm like, if you just follow, and they're like, he tweeted about it, and they're like, that's okay, I don't have Twitter. And I'm like, okay, I didn't realize that's how that worked. I'm not trying to be salty about it, I'm just saying, you know, you, can, can you like not watch the news and then email the CBC and be like, what's the news today? And they're like, why don't you watch the news tonight? You'll find out. And they're like, no, I don't own a TV. Like, I mean, I, I guess you could do it. <laughs> I doubt they would reply to you after the first or second try, though. That's that's what I would suggest about that. Anyway, it's just it's just venting. But I'm, I'm really trying to get myself into into work less mode, so Doki Doki is getting... Is off the... Or what am I trying to say here? It's almost off the books. Which is a very fancy adult way of saying we're almost finished it. Once that's finished, we're gonna start, hopefully... I don't know, man. It's just because, like, Fall Guys is so much fun to play, but... My idea here is we're gonna start ramping it down. Just a little bit. Just ramping it down a little bit. And getting ourselves into uh, into preparatory father mode. But apart from that, we got uh, you know not that much going on right now. Pretty uh, pretty standard couple of work days behind me. Lots of ooh, that's not so bad. Lots of track mania. Lots of fall guys. Good unity yesterday. Um, Golden Goblet's been fun this week. It's weird having a shorter Isaac backlog so I can actually, you know, talk about the Golden Goblet as it's happening. <laughs> Instead of being like, well, we're probably on to like a ninth Golden Goblet by now. Dude, I am hyped though. Like, August has been very good for games. I've been... if In case you thought I was making up my busyness, by the way. I was... And let's not, you know, make this too braggadocious or like, you know, too much of like a I'm a hipster and... You know, nobody has as good a taste as me. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen. Um, however, you know, I was hyped for Flight Sim. And, I, and I'm not the... Oh, that's pretty good. I'm not the only person on Earth that was hyped for Flight Sim before the reviews started coming out. But I've been hyped for this game for like, you know, since it was announced, I think, at E3 last year. I, had, I got the HOTUS... You know, all out, I was ready for it and just have not had time to play it. Even though it came out like three days ago, is free on Game Pass. Just got so many other things at the at the top of the mind right now that, you know, we're, we're hitting genuine busy hours here. But I, I did want to say, like, uh, August has been awesome for games so far, dude. Fall guys, a lot of fun. Not everybody's cup of tea, but a lot of fun. Um... Oh, we don't have, uh, okay, let's, hold on, give me a moment here. I don't think we're going to get a hit against Gertie, so let's see what we get here. HP would be nice. Uh, damage and speed is actually, you know, quite honestly, even better. <laughs> I think we pop this down. Almost let myself get tagged there. I think we pop this down. 
squeeze ourselves between them there, grab some money, pick up Satanic Bible, and roll with that. I'm sorry to do it, um, but I think it was uh, I think it was a very sensible approach there in order to kind of guarantee our survival long term. Let's do some more exploration. We we really need some keys. Um, but yeah, so there's Flight Sim, Fall Guys, Rogue Legacy 2 came out, haven't had a chance to peep that yet. Um, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater re, uh, Master re-release comes out in... Why am I doing that? Comes out in uh, like a couple of weeks. Spelunky 2 comes out in less than a month. And people are tweeting me uh, all sorts of games for Northern Lion Tries that I was... You know, not uh, necessarily familiar with, but excited about nonetheless. Now that I've looked into them, so like when it when it rains, it pours. You know, I feel like we maybe went through a, a stretch. I mean, I, I think it's been a great year for games. I say that a lot, but I, I honestly think, you know, if you're into AAA games, I don't know if it's been that incredible of a year for you. You know, you got like ooh, ooh, Mortal Shell. I just forgot came out uh, the other day as well. So like. But literally yesterday. The the most other of other days. Can you give me a penny, please? Thank you. That's that's very nice of you, because I would like this. Um But yeah, it's been uh sure. It maybe you got like Ghosts of Tsushima. I'm trying to think of what else. You got Animal Crossing. Well, Animal Crossing is kinda like a weird game in that vein as well. Like I, I got a lot of respect for it, but I really feel that like when people were into Animal Crossing, everybody was like, this is the game of the year. This is the antidote to our times right now. Um, and then once they got out of the routine, I feel like a lot of people started disrespecting that game. And I got to tell you, Tom Nook is not happy about it. A lot of people are like, it's just a glorified, you know, Skinner box. I'm like, hey, guess what, brother? These are all just glorified Spinner box or Skinner boxes. <laughs> If you want to get, if you want to get needlessly uh, base about it, but if you're into like, I don't want to say weird games like you know the stuff that I play is super uh, bizarre or whatever, but if you're if you're if you have my own unique brand of uh, enjoyment of video games, I think it's been a good year. Animal Crossing was basically pure mechanics. I, I you know I like it. Uh, Clubhouse games. I'm actually going, now that we're playing it for another uh, Golden Goblet, I'm like back into Clubhouse. Like yesterday, after I recorded the Moncala video, I was like, dude, I gotta go, I gotta play some more Moncala tonight. This is, this game's lit. I actually uttered those words to myself, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, because it's the truth. Now, Nintendo didn't invent Moncala, but at the same time, you know my philosophy when it comes to like, you know, quote-unquote game of the year lists. I don't see them as like an opportunity to flex about the cultural importance of a game, you know, and or to debase Nintendo by being like, well, they didn't invent chess, so I'm not giving them credit. I'm like, you know, it's like the, the meme where the angry bald guy who looks like me goes like, no, you can't just award a mini game collection game of the year. It's not an original property. And then I go like a ha ha clubhouse games go burr. It's not my favorite game of the year, but still. My favorite game of the year, honestly, there's a lot of good options. But I, I really do think it's probably Monster Train. Right now, at least. May You know, I'm very excited for Spelunky 2, but I do consider it kind of irresponsible to be like, Nah, it's gonna be Spelunky 2 when it comes out. You know, I don't know. Maybe it won't be my favorite game of the year. Maybe it'll be my favorite game of my lifetime. You know, but we don't know. I'm not suggesting they're cooking up a stinker, but I'm just saying, you know, you don't get to be like... You don't get to say it in advance, I guess. Hold on a moment here. Hold on a moment here. I needed an extra second to think about this one. Thanks for the spiders. Um, I'm gonna take uh, the divorce papers here. They, they occupy a similar niche, but I think that we don't need the HP from Mr. Dolly because we're gonna get our own HP. However, I'm also like, maybe... Mr. Dolly is a better tiers upgrade? I'm not sure. But we we just, you know. We chose for via fallacious reasoning, but if it if it works and it's stupid, it isn't stupid. You know what I mean? Probably start here. It's a dangerous play, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm actually not disappointed because I felt like we needed that red heart. Alright. I mean this run is. 
maybe not quite set in stone, but but very very good. <laughs> like uh, when I say not set in stone, I'm talking about like you know we might be looking at I don't know like a 99 percent. Probably, probably more than a 99% chance to win. It's hard to conceptualize, but, you know, a 99% chance to win is probably only a slightly above average run in Isaac. <laughs> to, truth be told, no, we don't, we don't want to do it. We don't want to do We don't want to do that. Anyway. I totally forgot. And, you know, this is not for everybody, but, you know, the new PGA Tour game is coming out in, like, a week as well. Like, all the games, they got friggin' front-loaded. Or backloaded, because I guess it is the end of the year, even though this year feels like it was simultaneously 10 years long and also, like, over in six months. I guess we'll just donate. I mean, we're, we've done a really good job with our donation machine. Admittedly, the donation machine is, like, an insanely long-term play for me. Like, in my head, I'm like, you know, I don't want it to run out while we're on a streak. Meanwhile, you know, it's at 700 cents, but still, it's like the principle of the thing. If we're not using anything with our... Not using our money for anything, then, you know, might as well. But yeah, I think it... On the, on, on the flip side, good year for games, in my opinion. Very bad year for movies. <laughs> it's not to say there's been uh, no no good movies. However, oh, we don't have any keys. Uh, it certainly, as compared to your average year, a little bit less uh, theatrical releases. I'm trying to think, like, what else came out AAA this year? Like, Ghost of Tsushima is gonna... Right now, that's looking like it's gonna dominate a lot of people's lists, right? I think it's, you know what, I'm, I can already tell you, there's going to be a lot of ink spilled this year. Uh, we, we may still make boss rush, by the way. Uh, let's go to the item room instead. That's that's a wise play. There's going to be a lot of ink spilled this year, and you can you can take this to the bank, Senator Trent. The blood bank. Um, so I should source that quote, that's from Steven Seagal. Um, this, there will be so many articles written at the end of the year about the rise of... Uh, Casual games this year. This is not the first year that casual games uh, have have had you know media attention. You know the rise of like Candy Crush and stuff like that. Really, just mobile games in general gave people a lot of ammunition for that sort of stuff. But between the mega success of of Fall Guys, and it really is unbelievably successful, and then also the. Um, Obviously, the, the very serendipitous release of uh, Animal Crossing. I think that's going to be a theme for a lot of people this year is, you know, cute, cartoony, accessible games hitting some level of... And, I mean, Clubhouse applies too, but Clubhouse is nowhere near the success of either of those games. Um, anyway. I had a good point a second ago for the first time ever, and I've forgotten what it was. So, rip me. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh well, we'll be moving on here. Because I'm a sucker like I said. Freaked up in the head, Nat. Let me in. Or don't let me in. I'm trying to think of what we've been up to recently. Honestly, like, I don't want to be a downer for anybody. But like, you know, the baby stuff is fun. I'm... I'm I'm kind of done with the pregnancy part of it. Like, it's a lot... And again, it's not... Hard for me is hard for Kate, but for me it's just kind of like, you know, I'm ready for, <laughs> I'm excited for fatherhood, but it's very annoying um, just not being able to do anything essentially until then. Like you're inundated with information that's like, you know, here's what to do when the baby comes and yada yada is your responsibilities and you know, you can get prepared for that. And then we're just kind of like in this holding pattern right now where Kate's like, you know, I feel physically uncomfortable because I'm carrying, like, what is probably like a five-pound infant right now in my stomach, and I'm like, I hear you. I mean, it's not like I'm crass. I'm not like, what do you want me to do about it? You know. <laughs> but on a on a, I don't want to call it like a spiritual level, but on some level, I'm like, you know, believe it or not, I'm wired to help. You know, I think I think most people are. 
Okay, this is just a very sad room for us there. And, you know, the, you, you can help a little bit. You can be supportive, of course. But, the, you know, when it comes... I'm, I'm more looking forward to, like... You know, when the baby cries. And, and again, this is not to make it seem like I have the harder job here. Which is not even close. But at least, you know, when, when she's born, when the baby cries, you could be like, I'll get this one. And, you know, realistically, I probably owe her, like, you know, 200 wake-ups before we're even. But at least you got the, the opportunity to do something there. Whereas right now, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm more worried about the perception that I'm choosing not to help instead of anything else. Because it in my head, if I was like, you know... I'm uncomfortable, and the other person was like, oh, that sucks. I'd be like, what are you doing? Well, I don't know. No, it probably wouldn't be. I don't know. It's just weird. But the, So there's, like, the, the pregnancy father and stuff, and that's, you know, it's good. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. But, uh, you know, there's also, like, uh, the, the start of Wave 2 is kind of happening. It depends on where you're at in the world, obviously, but also where you're at within Canada. Between Fall Guys and also uh, seeing all the exposure events that have happened in British Columbia at, like, strip clubs and nightclubs and, you know, private parties with 70 people. Uh, kind of just like... So I guess that's just how it goes, huh? I, I guess that's how we're going to treat the virus from this point forward is just like... Hey, you know, in March when the weather sucked, I didn't mind staying inside, flatten the curve and all that. But now it's August, it's sunny... Turns out, you know, people's values have shifted now. <laughs> and they're like, uh, no, I'm just bored with it. That was that was a spring thing. Now it's the summertime. Sun's out, bun's out. And I always, I don't know. Here, here's the thing, you know, as long as you take precautions, you know, depending on where you're at. I'm not an epidemiologist or a public health official for the record, so, you know, don't listen to this as gospel. But, you know... I, if you follow the advice of your local healthcare professionals, I'm not one of those people who's suggesting you should shelter in place, um, you know, without leaving your home for 100% of, of every day, you know? If, if you do that, I do think that's a, a much more likely situation to keep yourself, you know, not exposed, which is totally fine if you're willing to make that sacrifice. But I'm also, you know, like, realistically, I think people... Sometimes they have to go out to run errands, and sometimes they want to go out because they're feeling a little bit cooped up. But I'm always like, whenever these arguments pop up, that's like, hey, we've shut down a, you know, a party with 500 people in some kind of warehouse in Vancouver, there's always people that are like, when will people think of the mental health uh, problems that this lockdown has caused? You know, when will psychiatrists see the effects of all this isolation? And I'm like, dude, don't get me wrong. Like, I think you have just the slightest nugget of a good point. But also, are you really going to be, like, talking about mental health when, like, a, a rave <laughs> or a kegger gets broken up? Don't they understand? It's good for my mental health to stand in a hot basement. And drink 17 beers out of a red plastic cup. Won't somebody think about my wellness? Anyway, so people are insane. Um, but that's nothing new. It's just kind of all coming to a head, I guess, at the same time here. Um, that, combined with people's inability to uh, make it through basic obstacle courses in Fall Guys, has really <laughs> it's eroded some of my confidence in mankind. That's okay. It's pr prob probably the truth is somewhere in the middle. Uh, I'm overreacting. And also, you know, people, you know, like Tommy Lee Jones said in Men in Black, right? You know, a person is smart. I can't do a Tommy Lee Jones impression. People are stupid. But I don't know, because I've seen a lot of persons in Fall Guys. And on the road, for that matter. I'm the greatest Isaac player of all time. Did you see we just filleted them? That's a dream come true. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm actually in a good mood. You might, you know, perhaps even justifiably think I'm in a, 
a bad mood based on what I brought up. But no, I mean, we're keeping ourselves uh, healthy and steady over here as best as we can. You can't really, unfortunately, control the actions of other people. <clears throat> if anything, uh, and I've, I've talked many times that about, you know, politics. Every once in a while, you know, as a YouTuber, people will try to give you a big ego. Man, if NL ran for prime minister, I would vote for him. Look, this is a very flattering thing to hear. But I, I very much subscribe to the belief that anyone who would willfully uh, want to be prime minister and pursue that, or, or president, or, you know, mayor, etc., etc., I'm immediately um, kind of questioning of their intentions, if that makes sense, you know? I, like, especially, I don't know, like, when people want to be mayor in Vancouver... I'm like, there's very successful, like, private business people that run for mayor. It's a huge salary downgrade, for, for these people at least. And instead of being, like, anonymous and wealthy, you are, like, in the public spotlight. And people are gonna, you know, rake you over the coals for things like, hey, you put in a bike lane on Jervis Street. That's where I street park. I'm going to get you, you know? So I'm, I'm skeptical of people that are like, I know that's going to happen, but I still want that little sliver of power. But if anything, this whole situation has probably highlighted why I would not do well in public office. I think as soon as I saw an uptick on the graph, I would be like, if I see people in groups of three in public, you're going to the slammer. <laughs> and I'm not talking about pogs. Anyway. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, click the like button. We're up to 22 wins in a row. That was one of the least tense wins in a while, but appreciate your support nonetheless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.